The Gospel of Mark. Jesus cleanses a leper. Mark 140-45. Introduction. 1. One of the more moving accounts of Jesus' miracles is that of cleansing a leper. A. Described by Mark in our text. Mark 140-45. B. Also by Matthew and Luke in their Gospels. Matthew 8, 2-4. Luke 5, 12-14. 2. There is much that can be gleaned from this miracle. A. About the compassion and power of our Lord Jesus Christ. B. Not only toward the leper himself, but toward us as well. There came to him a leper, begging him, kneeling down to him, and saying to him, If you want to, you can make me clean. Mark 1.40 1. The leper's condition. A. His condition. 1. Leprosy was a term for several skin diseases. English Standard Version Note. 2. Today it is often applied to Hansen's bacillus, a progressively disfiguring disease. BKC. 3. It is likely this man suffered a pitiful existence. I bid. A. Not just from the physical ravages of the disease. B. But from ritual uncleanness and exclusion from society imposed by the law of Moses. Leviticus 13.44-46 The leper was truly a wretched man. B. Our condition. 1. What leprosy is to the body, so sin is to the soul. 2. Sin progressively enslaves us. John 8.34 Romans 7.14-24 3. Sin separates us from God and from his people. Isaiah 59, 2, 1 Corinthians 5, 11, 4, sin is universal. Romans 3, 23, 5, sin leads to eternal death. Romans 6, 23, Revelation 21, 8, as long as we remain guilty of sin, we are truly wretched. Should we ever see a leper, let us remember that without Christ our condition is much worse. The leper had heard of Jesus' power to heal, and so he came to him. 2. The leper's cry. A. His cry. 1. It was earnest and desperate. Imploring him. 2. It was reverent. Kneeling down to him. 3. It was humble and submissive. If you are willing, four, it was believing, you can, five, it acknowledged need, make me clean, six, it was specific, not bless me but make me clean, seven, it was personal, make me clean, eight, it was brief, five words in the original, the leper gives us an instructive example of the prayer that God answers. BBC B. Our cry. 1. For forgiveness of sin is first made in baptism. A. It is how we call upon the name of the Lord. Acts 2 21 and 37 41 also 22 16. B. For baptism is an appeal for a good conscience. 1 Peter 3.21 C. Only through the blood of Christ can we truly purify our conscience. Hebrews 9.14 2. For forgiveness of sin is then found through prayer. A. As Peter counseled Simon after his baptism. Acts 8.13.22 B. As John counseled his brethren in his epistle. 1 John 1. 9. The Gospel describes how we can make our appeal to Christ today. 3. The leper's cleansing. A. His cleansing. 1. Actuated by the Lord's compassion. Mark 6.34. 9.36. 2. 
accompanied by the touch of his hand. Mark 1.31 3. Accomplished as soon as the Lord spoke, I am willing, be cleansed. Mark 1.41-42 Through a simple touch and with simple words, the leprosy was gone. Being moved with compassion, he stretched out his hand, and touched him, and said to him, I want to be made clean. When he had said this, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was made clean. Mark 1.41-42 B. Our cleansing. 1. Actuated by God's love. 1 John 4, 9 and 10. 2. Accompanied by the blood of Jesus. Ephesians 1, 7. 1 Peter 1, 18-19. 3. Accomplished when we are united with Jesus in baptism. Romans 6, 3-7. Colossians 2, 12-13. Through a simple act of faith immersion, our sins are washed away. 4. The leper's commission. A. His commission. 1. Sent away quickly with a strict warning. Mark 1, 43. 2 told to tell no one anything, but to show himself to the priest. Mark 1.44 A. To offer what Moses commanded for his cleansing. Leviticus 14, 1-7 B. As a testimony to them of Jesus as the Messiah. Matthew 11, 5 Luke 7.22 3. The leper failed to keep the commission given him. Mark 1.45 A. Told to keep quiet, he proclaimed what happened so that news of it spread. B. It forced Jesus away from cities, and forced people to find him in deserted places. With misdirected zeal, the leper hindered rather than helped Jesus and others. He strictly warned him, and immediately sent him out, and said to him, See you say nothing to anybody, but go show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing the things which Moses commanded, for a testimony to them. But he went out, and began to proclaim it much, and to spread about the matter, so that Jesus could no more openly enter into a city, but was outside in desert places, and they came to him from everywhere. Mark 1.43-45 B. Our Commission 1. Jesus gave his disciples a great commission. A. To produce disciples of Christ. Matthew 28, 19-20. B. To preach the gospel to every person. Mark 16, 15-16. C. To proclaim repentance and remission of sins to all nations. Luke 24, 47. 2. The early church was faithful to that great commission. A. Their words went out to the ends of the world. Romans 10.18 B. The gospel had gone to all the world. Colossians 1, 5-6 C. It had been preached to every creature under heaven. Colossians 1, 23 3. What about the church today? A. Are we remaining faithful to that great commission? B. Or are we, like the leper, doing what we think best? C. Many have the church focusing on social rather than spiritual needs. With misdirected zeal, are we hindering rather than helping Jesus and the lost? Conclusion 1. The cleansing of the leper provides insight into A. The compassion and power of our Lord Jesus Christ. B. The humble faith needed to receive the benefits of such compassion and power. C. The danger of misdirected zeal in hindering the cause of Christ. 2. We may not suffer from leprosy, but we do face a much greater problem. A. The spiritual disfigurement and isolation caused by sin. B which requires the same compassion and power of Jesus. 
c. Along with the same humility and faith to receive forgiveness. 3. Once we have been cleansed of our sin, shall we not show proper gratitude? a. By fulfilling the commission given to all his disciples. b. By directing our zeal in the same manner as did the early church. May we learn from both the positive and negative examples of the leper. The end. The Gospel of Mark. Jesus cleanses a leper. Mark 140-45